Hi guys, it's Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you guys how to layer multiple pieces of vinyl onto one piece of transfer tape and then put it on whether it's your cup, a decal, whatever it may be. The first thing you're going to want is either a Teflon sheet or your Cricut Bright Pad. I would have used my Cricut Bright Pad, but the light was glaring off that and it would have just been a mess the entire video. So what I'm going to do is show you on a piece of Teflon. You can do it. It's going to work just the same. You want it to basically be a non-stick coating. So I've got all of my pieces the way that they're going to go and I want to go ahead and show you really quick. I want to show you how tiny these words are. Look at how tiny that is. And my maker cut that out. All of my pieces cut out. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up crystal first and put this on the side of the cup. I want to get that here. So let's do that first. So I start with whatever single first. And we're going to use this one piece of transfer tape for the entire thing. All right, we're going to remove this from the backing. And I'm going to set this aside because we can reuse this. The reason why I like to use the Teflon sheet is whenever I go to pick this up, instead of sticking this onto my desk or my my desk or my counter, it's not going to pick up any debris. So that way it keeps it nice and clean. So I'm going to go ahead and get this down just like so. I'm going to use my scraper. So once I feel that I have this adhere to the transfer sheet really well, I'm going to go ahead and pick it up, flip it upside down, take my backing at an angle, and just work it off at an angle just like so so here's the back all right so now that we have it just like so you're going to want to you're going to want to clean your surface off with alcohol to make sure there's no oils on it and then i'm just going to go ahead and figure out where my center is all right so say i'm happy with this i'm just going to kind of lightly set it there and I always start right in the center. So I rub right in the center and then work my way on one side, just like so, and work my way on the other. All right. So once I have that down, I just use my fingers so that way I don't scrape my cup, just like that. And then once again, I'm gonna hold this flat and I'm gonna peel it off at an angle. Just like so, there it is. Nice, right? And go over it one more time with your finger just to kind of make sure it's really good just like that all right so now we're going to go ahead and work on the front i'm going to set my cup out of the way so we can work on our vital pieces here i know the light is shining and i'm hoping you guys will be able to see i'm going to go ahead and zoom you guys in a little bit better so the first thing you want to do is line these up in what order they're going on so you want to look at your image on cricut design space and then figure out what's in front the word maker here is going to be right on the white there okay so we know that we need to pick up maker next and then the white is going to go right here on top of the gray and then the pink is going to go right on top of that okay what i want to do is start with maker i know it's really hard to tell because my light i'm super sorry guys i'm going to start kind of in the center here just to make sure i have enough room and i'm going to pick up that word maker i know it's really hard to tell i'll show you in just a second i'm going to rub that just a little bit and then I'm going to pick that up. So you can see that I've got my word maker just like that. I'm going to go ahead and at this point peel off my backing just like so. Now we're going to take the white piece. I know it's hard to tell. I'm going to bring this up so you can see what I'm doing. So now I'm taking this white piece which is the outline of the maker. I'm going to lay it down. I'm going to line the word maker up where it belongs on here. All right, just like so. Now I'm going to rub my tool and pick these up. Once again, I'm going to lift this right up. I'm going to flip it over. Take the backing at an angle. And work that off. All right, just like so. We have this. Okay, so now we're going to pick up our next layer. I'm going to take my machine right here like so. And now I want to line this up on here. Now, if your paper is popping up like mine, you could always take a piece of tape to hold it down. I have that laying completely flat. I can now go over this to make sure I get this exactly where I want it to be. I'm going to rub that down again. Lift it up. I'm going to flip this over. All 
All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on my Teflon sheet because now I need to add on the pink. All right, so currently I have it transferred directly onto my transfer sheet. So now I'm going to get down my pink piece. And like I said, I know that it's really hard to tell because of that glare. At this point, you don't really need a piece of the transfer tape for this. I could lay this directly on top. All right, just like that. All right, so just like that, there's my maker machine. All right, so now I'm going to leave that on my transfer sheet until I'm ready for it. So now we're going to work on our Cricut Cutie Guy. For my eyes here, I'm going to go ahead and pick up the black pieces first. So I'm going to pick them up separate. So I want to pick them up separate. So I'm going to get one. I'm going to flip it over. And I'm going to set that one down just like so. Then I'm going to come back over to one of my white pieces and I'm going to drop this one down. All right, just like so. All right. Now I'm going to flip the backing over, get my eye off, take my Cricut Cutie. And I'm going to go ahead and apply this eye. All right, so just like that. I'm going to fold it over at an angle and peel that right off. All right, so we're going to do the same thing to the other eye. Pick up that last piece. Go at an angle, peel it off from the back. I'm going to go ahead and get this one on here. Right, just like so. All right, we're going to rub that down. Flip it over at an angle, just like that. All right, so we're going to go ahead and apply this last one here. All right, just like that. Go at an angle. All right, just like that. So now we are ready to attach our maker on here. So I'm going to go ahead and pick the maker back up. So I'm just going to rub over it like so. Just like that. Now to pick this up, I'm just going to flip my Teflon sheet and run it just like this. All right. So here's our Cricut Cutie. We're going to take our maker and get this down exactly where we want it. So I want mine just like this. All right. Rub that down. I'm going to flip it over. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and peel that off at an angle just like that. So at this point, if I'm going to sell this or give it away, I would go ahead and apply my transfer sheet here, making sure that I was covering everything. And then I would cut it down to size. So I'd go ahead and go over it to make sure it's going to be on there all the way, just like so. And then at this point, I would trim off any excess and go all the way around. But since we are keeping this and I'm putting it on a cup, I'm going to flip it over, take it off just like so, and now we are ready. The way that I designed this cup is his head is going to go on this circle here. So what I'm going to do is kind of hold my cup here, and I'm going to try to line him up just like so. I'm going to set him down for just a second so I can kind of look to make sure he looks straight. So just like that. And everything looks good. So once again, I'm going to go straight down the center just like this. And then I'm going to work from one side to the next. I'm going to get all of this side down. And then I'm going to get down this side. All right. So now I'm going to take my little tool here and just kind of carefully go over this just a little bit, making sure that it's on there. I'm going to go at an angle, just like so. All right. So what I like to do to get the any sort of bubbles out, I just kind of use my fingers. It's the best way I've found just to kind of work those out. All right. 
All right, so how cute is this cup? So I've got my name here on the side and my cute little Cricut cutie guy. Just gonna pop on my lid and my straw. And how cute is this custom cup? Super adorable. So it's really easy to layer your pieces of vinyl. It really is. This is great, especially if you're going to be selling these as like a decal. You have them all layered on one so that way it's ready to go. But I highly recommend that you use a Teflon sheet. So here is my super, super cute cup. How adorable is that? Got my name right here on the side. Super cute. This straw came with this cup and it looks just like so. It's really cute. So this design right here I have created. You can change the name here. The font that I used is in Cricut Design Space for Access members and it is Babette. B-A-B-E-T-T-E. -T -T -E. Like I said, it's completely free for Access members. This was a ant with a little watermelon. I got rid of the ant watermelon and brought in the maker image. I have already made this file. It is linked down below. So here is your cute cutie. The vinyl that I used was the premium Cricut Premium Vinyl, the Pearl. So the packaging looks like this. And I use the mint color and the pink so they could match your machines. I was going to do mint and mint, but it was too much together. So I decided to switch it to the pink, but you could do whatever it is. So if you're cutie, you want to do him purple, whatever machine you may have. So there it is. If you want to make this super cute cutie cup, check my link below. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please hit the like button down below and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.